Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Whoa, shoot. I was going to do my intro with the hey guys, this is Tolhi. But apparently these guys are still there behind the fog doors. Uh, Alright, we'll leave. That's cool. Just annoy me. Um, hey guys, this is Tolhi and welcome to Let's Play Dark Souls 2 Part 26. Um, probably in the first bit there, it's going to be, I don't know, fast forward or silent or something. I've just spent 30 minutes trying to down this boss. Uh, just trying not to commentate because I need to focus pretty hard um, but that attempt there was the final attempt that did it uh, yeah I don't know probably like 10-15 attempts at the, partly because um, I'm still uh, like uh, I, a little tired today probably should have gave up sooner but I was like well maybe I'll just do some attempts today and then if I don't get to record anything at least I've got some practice in because the other half of this is I haven't played Dark Souls in like two weeks so a bit rusty so I was like ah, I get some practice in I did not expect to down that boss there um, I just I, I when I saw I was getting close I was like I just got to go for it um, so yeah anyways a little awkward but start of this part uh, gonna try and get I guess maybe 15 minutes out now maybe just a single part here um, maybe explore a little forward this looks like an NPC oh is this it for this oh no no yeah that's Oh, okay, here we go. I was like, I don't, I feel like that would be weird if all that was was just, uh, if all of that was was just a boss fight and an NPC on the other side. Illusionary wall. No. I know you can push A on illusionary walls now, so it's unlikely that, uh, that was, but I think you can also still hit them to break them. Anyways, um,. Right, so let's do a little bit further here, not too much. Let's check these chests. I should go spend these 20,000 souls. Uh, some orbs. Blue, I think. And then over here... This looks like a bigger, better chest. Ooh, some shields. Alright, what do you have to say? Oh, talk. Transient being. You have obtained proof you are worthy of joining our order. You may call yourself one of us, and are free to plant your roots in this garden of the gods. Be proud. I, Targre, do proclaim from this day, you are a knight of the blue. Rejoice, and bask in your new honor. Uh... Sure? I don't know, the blue, the way of the blue never really did much for me other than give me that ring, and I never got any help from anyone whenever I got invaded. The Well, I don't think I ever got invaded more than those two times, and the, the second time was pretty quick. I don't know. Um, I don't know, way of the blue might still be good. You know what, no, let's stay with the Do way of the blue a little bit longer. Me? Oh. Who would refuse such magnificence? Me? Gods have mercy on this half-wit. He knows not what he speaks. Okay. You are a one. Do you rescind your ways? No. Oh, God. Okay, so all this guy does is let me join the Covenant. So I might do that eventually. Uh, if I understand it correctly, if you have the way of the blue ring... Or if you're in the way of the blue, then blue sentinels will sometimes help you against invaders. Uh, they'll get summoned into your world. So I'd rather stay with the way of the blue for now, because I'd rather get help than do help at this point in the game. But I wouldn't mind trying the blue sentinels at some point to see if I could help others. Could be fun. Uh, head forward a little bit to see if I can find a bonfire. Uh, what are these messages saying? Are you ready? Liar ahead? Oh no, there's a bonfire. Okay. Two. Bonfire lit. Uh, before I head back and get some points, is there anything else to do here? Any of these messages say anything useful? Beware of hint. Try horse. 
This looks like a dead end. It feels weird to me that this would be a dead end, though. Something to do with the statues, maybe? I don't know. Let's just travel back and use um, these souls before I accidentally get myself killed. Alright, what to put points into now? Uh, level up. I don't know. A couple more points of vitality. Get some more equip load seems like a good idea. Some adaptivity. Oh wow, that's going to use up all my points. I was going to say adaptivity because I feel like on that last fight, if I had a few more extra invincibility frames, that would have been easier. So maybe adaptivity to 10 next. Actually, let's... Yeah, let's do that. And then I've still actually got a ton of souls. I just need to use a soul item to get one more level. Uh, this one, I guess. Yeah, that'll do. So then let's get that to seven. Round out my stats a little bit here. And then I'll start focusing on some specific stat like strength or faith. Getting those higher. Oh, the other thing I was thinking I was going to do. Uh, it's too late now. Was potentially buy the miracle spell from her um but the oh. other thought or the other thing i should do is i was told that this guy is going to have new talk options because i think that's her daughter that's returned you'll need souls to repair and i know only of smithing don't waste your souls my witless daughter finally came home just as oblivious as she's always been. Well, at least now I can keep an eye on her. Stones? Try asking my daughter. You might be surprised. Dread. <laughs> You're worse than my reckless daughter. Don't spend your whole life in... You'll need souls. I know okay, so then he's repeating. So he just, he mentions his daughter, but there wasn't really much of you interest think, other than... Well, oh. I've only one thing to provide, and we both know what that... You know how they call this place Drang Lake, right? Well, in the old lore, in stories and the like, they said it had another name. What was it? Well, I don't know. It's just something I heard. Since long, long ago, many kingdoms have risen and fallen on this very spot. Each like a great flame that turns to soot. Maybe that's why people don't remember much about the past. You see that blacksmith over there? Is he one of those hollows? He seems to keep eyeing me up. He sort of looks like my father. He's a blacksmith too, you see. The poor man's such a worrywart. But he wouldn't follow me out here, would he? <laughs> I was born in a land to the west, Bolgan. Famous for its merchants. There were great, bustling cities. But for me, they were suffocating. And so I set out, in search of stones in faraway lands. There are dangers, for certain, but I much prefer to live this way. But, for the life of me, I can't remember how I ended up here. It's as if I were drawn to the place, or lured in. Oh, I don't know. Interesting, we've heard other characters say that before, they can't remember how they got in here. These stones may look all the same, but to the trained eye, each is unique. Some of them are used to smith weapons and armor, and some unique stones provide special benefits. Some of them are extremely rare and should be used with great thrift. None of the differences are easily spotted. But I've learned quite a lot, really. <laughs> <laughs> you 
you know how they call this place Jack okay Barton repeating the old so that's their two dialogue trees he's basically talking about her and she doesn't seem to realize that that's her father gone hollow um let's see if we can find some more dialogue trees to go through actually now that we're here in town and check in here i think would be the next logical spot there was the guy the map maker all right found the map maker he's standing over the map oh hello again you've made it the map i presume of course take a good look ah yes there is something i wanted to tell you I was born in the land of Mira. Mira is also the home of an infamous killer, a knight in name alone. He was locked in the dungeon for multiple murders, but shortly before his execution, he managed to escape. And the other day, I saw a fellow with a striking likeness, and then, and then, Wait. Well, I think he looked rather similar. No, no, it's true. I saw just such a man, I swear. I believe his name was... C C uh, Cray something. I believe. They shared some resemblance, I, I think. Huh, interesting. Even more flames have appeared. I don't know what causes it. Did you see the flame on the map? It wasn't there when I came here before. I don't know what explains it. But there is something greatly comforting about that flame. It seems to fulfill something very precious. Deep within the soul. Something essential. I would not venture far into that hole. Already it did. It was blocked by a wall, something built long ago. But it was crumbling, and I finished the job. Now a foul sound echoes within. Did you see the flame on the map? Okay, he's repeating now. Cool. Uh, so I think that's all the new dialogue options that I have for now. Just a bit more backstory. It's pretty cool stuff these characters are talking about. I think there's a lot of uh, little... Like, he was talking about a knight. I'm sure that that's someone I've met before or someone I'll met, meet soon. And then these two's back and forth is kind of just an interesting storyline. Um, it's not really at the forefront, but it's something you discover as you talk to the characters, which is kind of a neat way of doing narrative. Uh, I don't know. Probably gonna stop here. I didn't want this to be super long. Just wanted to quickly try that boss a few times, and I can't believe I succeeded. And I'm starting to run out of steam here again, so... Whoa! What are you... Pig! What are you doing out of the back? What... Why did that not hit him? Okay, gonna do two-handed crazy swings because those seem to hit him, whereas the light two-handed swings don't. Silly pig. Okay, uh, yeah. So, gained some levels, did some stuff. Uh, I don't think there's any further I can go in the Cathedral of the Blue unless there's a secret wall I missed. So next time I might continue back in the Forest of Giants? Or maybe I go to the wharf. Oh, that might be fun. Uh, down the other direction uh, from the Tower of Flames where I killed the first boss I ever killed. I don't remember his name, but um, there was a wharf area I had gotten to. I could check out that zone next time. I'm just pretty exhausted. I don't want to keep going when I'm tired because I'm. it's just not going to be super entertaining, I don't think. But I downed that boss, so that took a while. Kind of killed a lot of my momentum, but it's done. And then talk to some story. And next time we'll do stuff. I'm rambling now. For now, this is Tolhi signing out. Later, guys.